probably would have worked if I could connect it to a good preamp and then just use phantom power batteries with the 3.5 millimeter jack that it has. I think it's 3.5 to XLR cable. I think it comes with this one too. But this one supposedly has built-in XLR with phantom power. Um, hopefully I can open this. Okay, okay it does. It does come with a little bit worried. I was like, isn't it supposed to come in a hard shelled case? Isn't it supposed to come in a hard shelled case? Honestly, this hard shelled case looks very similar to like all of the budget microphones I've ever bought. Like AKG Perception microphones that come in cases like this. But I like how black it is. You know, it's, it's black. It looks sleek. Oh, there's my fingerprints. <laughs> Fingerprints. Okay. So let's open this bad boy up. So again, I think this is made by a small company, but you know they've been making these for a while now, and there's so many ASMR artists buying these things. I, I look, you know, I was kind of like after I bought this, I was kind of having buyer's remorse because for a split second I thought maybe, you know, a better company has come out that has created, you know, maybe something better than the 3DO. But it doesn't look like it, so. Um, now this uses like the condenser capsules that have like a 14 dBA self noise, which is not the quietest, but small diaphragms, you know. So I'm hoping this thing is truly 14 dBA self noise um, when it's all said and done. Oh my god, it's small. Honestly, it is smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah, when I saw the the, the original box, I thought it was kind of small. And it's, you know, it's a box within a box within a box. And honestly, this thing is freaking small. It may not look it, but this thing is freaking small. Uh, that's good, though. That's good. I don't want, you know, people's heads are actually not that big. You know, and, um... You know, again, you know, if this is a small company and they've been pumping these things out for a while, you know, I hope, you know, I get a a really good one that's, um, oh, it's got a 9 volt alkaline battery inside. To access the battery, remove these four screws. Okay, so you have to remove those four screws and then I guess you can access the battery. I think a lot of people end up taking this sticker off. Um, so, and then, okay, so, oh, this is a 3.5 millimeter to, like, one-fourth TRS jack, which is like an instrument micro, uh, instrument connection, so, yeah, it's not an XLR, but honestly, it's got a key in there, too, I guess to, to lock the carrying case so nobody steals your, yeah, this thing, guys, guys, if you like my videos, you know, this channel doesn't get that many views. This thing is $700, about, a little bit over $700. This thing is expensive, my dudes. This thing is, and it's really small. I, I honestly, I like how it looks already. It, it does look pretty pro. Um, hopefully it, it's all functional and, you know, so it's got XLR on the bottom. Um, it's got um, a base roll-off switch and uh, power for the phantom power. Um, yeah, you're going to want that off if you're using XLR. But I am going to try this first. I'm going to connect this to my audio interface via this 1 4th TRS to 3.5 millimeter thing. Um, that's actually pretty ingenious. And then you use the phantom power of battery um, and if that has the same quality audio quality and and stuff yeah you connect the 3.5 millimeter to this thing so if the 3.5 millimeter to TRS with the built-in battery has the same audio quality as going straight through the XLR then I wasted quite a few hundred dollars like 
I think it's $399 for without the XLR. Um, and this thing's, so it's $400 and this thing's like 600 something, almost $700 with, you know, tax and shipping and everything. It's 700 plus dollars. So 400, 500, 600, a couple hundred dollars more. Um, but I, 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 you know, I didn't want to get the cheapest one. I wanted to get the XLR connections just in case the 3.5 millimeter is not good enough or, you know, so now they do have an even more expensive one, like a pro one, and that uses more expensive, um, capsules, condenser microphone capsules, but it actually has much higher self noise, like 24, 23 dBA, somewhere around there. These are like 14 dBA, so that's 10 decibels quieter on this one compared to the more expensive one, surprisingly. So, honestly, I would love to be able to make one of these things and put some Neumann large diaphragm capsules behind the ear canal. Yeah, that's what I would love to do. Okay, so you can see the... It's... Okay. So, you know, maybe I should have just got the cheaper one and connected it to my audio interface via this, if the, the audio quality is just as good. But um, I, I, I played it safe, and I got the XLR one. Um, so hopefully, my dudes and dudettes, um, and again, if you like these videos, donate. Um, it helps um, where I can, you know, just throw money at this kind of stuff, but, you know, I, I, I would have eventually bought this, I think, um, you know, I am so picky about audio equipment, you know, it's kind of like the Blue Yeti, you know, it's just, you know, again, the, the, the Neumann microphones are better than, than any other microphone I can get, but, um, you know, the, these have higher self noise, the frequency response is not as good. But you get these soft ears. Yeah, the ears are pretty soft. They're pretty rigid, though. Okay. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Again, this thing's pretty expensive. Thanks for watching.